Um, so it's good and poor. Sorry, fair. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me Tazzy and welcome back to another video of a vlog of a VC student. This is the ninth episode and the first episode of anything on my channel for the past three weeks. Now, I've had a lot of schoolwork, a lot of um, just general um, things going on in my life and YouTube has been the last thing on my mind. Um, School has legit taken hold and <laughs> type, yeah. Um, so it's quite stressful at the moment. Um, but basically, that along with you remember in the last video when I actually filmed the video, I was sick. That cold lasted about two and a half weeks. And when I say a cold, I mean I was physically. I was still going to school. I didn't take a day off school. Um, and I would be walking to school every day and I'd feel like I'm going to face plant or pass out because I felt so bad. So that just gives you an idea of why the videos weren't coming out. Um, however, today I have some great things to tell you. Um, basically a rundown of the last three weeks. A very quick, quick rundown, hopefully. Um, you'll remember that I did a couple of math sacks. Um, and I, that was part of three, so I did the last math sack. I got my marks back for that as well, and I'm pretty happy with the scores I got. Now, I've only gotten two scores back from the from all three sacks. So I got, for the first one, I got 30 out of 38, which is ridiculously good considering on my track record of maths. And the second one was not as great, 18 out of 32. And if you guys can do maths, it's about 50%. So, um, not too bad for um, maths. I also had a psychology sack, not last week, but the week before. Now, this is the one that I was talking about. It was the report one that took like five, six periods. So basically, there was an experiment part. So we had to explain the, uh, we had, sorry, to plan the experiment, do the experiment, then write about the experiment. Um, so we did this in the way of an empirical research report. Um, and it was really good. We got our marks back. Yes, last Tuesday, the Tuesday I just went, she marked all 40 of them ridiculously quickly. <laughs> we were not expecting it. Like, I'll give you a perspective. Mine was f was 10 pages long. And she managed to mark them in three days. So just let that sink in. Um, but the score I got for that was a 45 out of 50, and I'm really happy with that. Um, it's in like 80% mark or whatever, I think. Um, high 80s um and i'm just really happy overall with that mark because um my other psychology marks haven't been the greatest so we also had um pe um and we had a excursion a couple of weeks ago to the uh exercise research association and basically there was a lady there who went through all of the things that we uh how to put together a training program for year 12 PE because one of our assessments, one of our SACs that we have to do is a training program. We have to do the six week training program and then report about it and stuff. So that's <laughs> totally looking forward to doing a six week tra training program. Um, and, but the excursion was really good. The information she gave us was really informative and, and really um, good. So it was just, a great day and understanding and we also did a bit of a uh, a workout sesh with some of the ERA guys which was great as well um, once we got back though that that Friday so we did a we did our fitness testing so we did the beep test yay we did a muscular strength test um, we did a the vertical jump and we did um, the sit and reach test so sit and reach I got 23 centimeters which is really it's it's technically it means i can just touch my toes but apparently it's excellent according to the norms um for muscular power um i got re I really well 26 kilos on my right hand 23 kilos on my left hand 
um, which I'm pretty happy with. So it's good and fair. And then I had a jump of 32 centimeters in the vertical jump, which is shocking. And my beep test was 4.4. I'm really unfit, guys. I'm shocking. Um, so, but considering I was aiming for three, you know, it's good. So formal's coming up. Um, been on the committee to help plan it. I haven't really done much because I've missed a lot of the sessions, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, however, I have been able to do things for myself for the formal, which, for example, is go shopping. Now, so uh, me and my dad went out shopping, and I got myself a suit. Really, really nice suit. So I'll show you guys a photo of it um, when I'm actually all dressed up and that sort of stuff, ready for formal. And um, yeah, but I'm really happy with it. It's a nice navy blue suit with a purple shirt and really cool tie. And we're just going to go out and buy a pocket square because the pocket square doesn't match the tie. Um, it's like really, really dark blue. And we just want to make sure it all works. And some really nice tan um, sort of, yeah, tan shoes and stuff. Gotta love those wog tappers. So, um, yeah, I'm all set for formal. Um, however, apart from formal, um, last week we had a psychology lecture. So on Thursday we had a psychology lecture and that went for two hours, which was good. Um, really informative, really, really, um, really helped me out with some of the basic stuff that I've been messing up. And, um, just in the last couple of weeks, we've been lectured so hard. I think I've had four teachers lecture me so much, uh, not even me, just in general, our, our classes. Um, we are considered the most laziest year level. I'm not even joking. There's probably about 10% that actually do work, and the rest don't give a shit. And if there's a year level that's being talked about in the staff room, it's ours. Like, they hate us, I swear. <laughs> So we got lectured by my health teacher. She really wasn't happy with the amount of effort that we were putting in and just wanted us to put more effort in so we could do well and that sort of stuff because we do have our practice exams coming up and she doesn't want to have to mark, along with all the other teachers um, in the year level, mark a bunch of tests or exams that haven't even been written on. So she's really encouraged us to like study a bit more and. I bought all my gear home to study this weekend as well. So basically, we we got to lift up our game in general. I got uh, yeah, we got the exams coming up, and they are really not impressed with us, and they just want us to lift our game in general. And that comes to me uh, comes down to the last lecture or the biggest lecture that we got, which was from the assistant principal. She. Uh, she got really mad at us because, well, not us in particular, just a few people in the year level, because we have like a little common room kitchen area, and um, we can we can use that. So I use it for hot water and my noodles and heating up leftovers and that sort of stuff. And a lot of people don't clean their dishes afterwards, and they don't like clean up the area. They leave breadcrumbs all around from using toasted toasters and. You know, uh, some guy put a rotten apple in the uh, in the microwave and uh, heated it up. So that, you know, there's all sorts of random shenanigans going on, and no one really cares about, it except for like a few people, uh, one of my friends and a couple of other people who actually clean up after everyone else. I've cleaned up a couple of times, and it's just really annoying that no one will bother to clean up after themselves. Like some people do, but then there's others who just don't. And it has ruined it for us because they banned they banned the kitchen last week, um, just just for last week I believe it can reinstate it on Monday just to see if we can do anything about it. But I hope we can because um, if I really struggle with eating at school and that sort of stuff, so it's been really good to have that kitchen to be able to like make my own food at school um, because I've actually been eating lunch and that sort of stuff. So it'd just be really bad if it just gets banned for the rest of the year because some people didn't bother cleaning up after themselves so yeah um that's my little rant over um back to generalized stuff um i've been i haven't gone to cadets lately i haven't gone to cadets in the last two weeks i haven't had time i know if i go 
I'll just end up doing homework the whole night. And then I'll get staff members that aren't happy with me. So I just decided, okay, back off. We're going to, you know, leave it. We're just going to go take a couple of weeks off. I think I'm going back this Monday. I don't quite, I'm not quite sure. Because the day after cadets, we have the gap. So the general achievement test, which is basically um, just basic knowledge, so your basic maths, your basic humanities, all that sort of stuff, in the one test, if by any chance at the end of year exams you don't turn up for some reason, um, they rely on the gap to help standardise your your study scores in your ATAR. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I'm probably not going to end up going because people don't, a lot of people don't like study for the GAT, but it's really important, especially with someone with like me who's had so many medical issues go on during exam times. Um, it's really important for me to do that, do well in the GAT and I will be trying to do well. I've got a couple couple of practices around the house that I can uh, study and that sort of stuff. Um, another one, my sister came down again. She's just coming down all the time. Her holidays are actually in three weeks. So she comes down uh, permanently, or permanently for three more weeks after that. So she came down and we did stuff and she was our my adjudicator for my suit and what looked the most uh, lovely. And we just generally bummed around and were assholes to each other the whole weekend. So just general sister stuff. Also, exam timetables came out. So basically, um, if you guys don't know, um, the VCE exam timetables always come out in June. This gives you time to like plan and understand where everything goes and that sort of stuff. So my first exam is my psychology exam because I don't do English. And that's on the 27th of October. Um, my second one is on the 28th of October, and that's my further exam, the first further exam, because there's two. Um, the second um, the second further exam is on the 31st um, of October. And then after that, I have a PE exam on the 2nd of November, a health exam on the 3rd of November, and my last exam is on the 10th of November, which is my English language exam. It's kind of ironic that the year 12 English exam goes first, but the year 12 English language exam goes last. So that's generally what I have to say about the last three weeks. It's not as much detail as it usually would be um, because I can't remember much from the last three weeks. My brain is mush from my cold. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this and you just get a brief rundown of what's happened in the last few weeks. There will actually be two videos coming out next weekend and that'll be and uh, that'll be part two of careers and jobs and episode 11 to get back into my two-week schedule. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever about anything, um, I'm all open to answer them. Uh, just comment them down below and I'll get back to you ASAP. And if you want to check out the Facebook page, there'll be a link to it in the description. And just remember to like, sub, you know, do all those cool things that kids do nowadays. I'm hitting 18 soon, so I feel slightly old. Um, but my name has been Tazzy, and I'm signing out. Peace, guys.